Alright guys, welcome to your 8th Java game development video and in this video we're going to learn how to pretty much add simple stuff to the screen. So let's go ahead and look at our game so far. Go ahead and launch this baby and oh my god this freaking game is awesome. It has a frames per second counter that we didn't even program ourselves. That just came by default. So the part that we programmed ourselves is pretty much this, a big black screen. I mean, it's not that bad of a game. Maybe you can call it Empty Space, The Final Frontier, or, you know, Before the Big Bang. But, you know, I think the audience wants a little more excitement. So, check this out. Whenever we start our game, the default menu that we told it to pop up, or the default screen, rather, is the main menu. So, actually, whenever we play our game, the very first screen, this screen we're looking at right here, is actually the main menu. Now currently we don't have any functionality to get to the play screen, so we'll just go ahead and test everything out on this main menu right here. So in order to draw stuff on the main menu, like I said in the last tutorial, we need to draw everything in this render method. Render basically means draw. Now everything gets drawn with this graphics object which is G. Now a graphics object just think of it like a paintbrush. It can paint stuff on your screen. It could paint images, shapes, text, anything that an artist could paint. This graphics object is like a really cool artist. So or a really cool paintbrush. So now let me show you how to use this graphics object to draw. Uh, we'll just do basic text for now. So you use the object which is G in that object has built-in methods. One of them is draw string, which basically means draw text on the screen. Now it takes a couple parameters. The first one is okay, you want me to draw text on the screen. What text do you want me to write? And okay, what's the name of our game? Ham Blaster. So we'll just say, are you ready to blast some ham? Ham again, and we'll put like some of those things. Are you freaking ready to blast some ham? I'm getting excited already just thinking about it. Okay, so that's the text, and X and Y is basically the coordinates. And let me just go ahead and write 50, 50. Great movie, by the way. And not there, you fool. You need to separate them with a comma. 50, 50. And now let me go ahead and run this game and check it out. I'll just go ahead and check that so I don't have to do it again. So the reason that I needed to type 5050 was those are the coordinates, the X and Y co coordinates. Our game uses, or Java rather, uses a coordinate system that start, starts in the top left corner. Positive X is over, so this goes, this might be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and over here might be like 500. So 50 across and 50 down, that's where our text is going to start. So again, that's Java's default, de, did I say default? Oh man, that's so embarrassing. Default coordinate system. So that is how you draw text on the screen, 50 over, 50 down, and this is the text that you want to go in that location. Are you ready to blast some ham? Yes, I is. Yes, I is. Wow, I sound like I'm from the Bronx or something. I mean, no offense for people from the Bronx, but you do say that a lot. So now what we need to do is, now that we know how to draw basic text on the screen, let's go ahead and do something a little bit more exciting and draw some shapes. So in order to draw a shape, you use the exact same object, G. So G, draw rect, and what draw rect means is draw rectangles. Now this has four parameters instead of three. And the first one is what do you want the X coordinates to be, X and Y. So we'll say, okay, how far do you want this over? We'll just say 50. And if you press tab, you can actually, oh, what the heck? Made me look like a fool. Okay, 50 over and uh, 100 down. Wow, what the heck? It usually does it. Okay, 50 over, 100 down. Now the width and height is how wide and how tall do you want your rectangle to be? Well, I want this rectangle to be 60 pixels wide and uh, 120 pixels tall, I guess. That looks pretty good. So actually, let me leave a little comment. X, Y, width, height. Looks good. So now let's go ahead and run this game and hopefully we get a rectangle and some text on the screen as well. 
Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? This game is freaking awesome. I could play this all day. So here's our text, and here is our rectangle that is 50 across. That's why it lines up with the text. 100 down, 60 wide, and 120 tall. Pretty freaking sweet. Now the last thing I want to show you guys how to do is how to draw another shape, you know, just for fun. Because, you know, sometimes people want to mix it up a little bit. This is like game 2.0. So let me just, what other shape do we have? G, draw, oval. I know we have that one. Now oval pretty much takes the same um, parameters, X and Y, which is the position. And we'll put this over at like 200, 130, so it doesn't overlap everything. And the width of this can be 130 as well. And the height, well, we won't make it a perfect circle. We'll say 80. So now, if we go ahead and run this game, oh, guys, I like am gonna have to take a break because I'm just gonna play this for hours and hours. Am I ready to blast some ham? Heck, yes, I am. We drew an oval, and this could be, you know, the face of the ham, and this is going to be that big house that he's going to blast. Guys, this game is freaking amazing. And one other thing that I want to take note of, you see how I said at the very beginning that, oh, let me see if I could find it, that we made a variable that gets passed into our constructor, and this code right here basically made the title on the top of the screen. Well, here's the screen, or the window rather, and there's the title right there. So if we wanted to change that title, like Ham Blaster 2.0, then we would just need to change it right here. Then it would get passed in the constructor and get passed in the superclasses constructor, run this baby, and our new title changes. So that is how you draw basic images on your screen. Now what I'm going to, or excuse me, basic text titles and shapes. Now in the next tutorial, what I'm going to do is show you guys how to draw basic images, such as, you know, if you have a ping or a JPEG or something like that. So that's what we have to look forward to. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.